Have you ever thought about working remotely in Montana? In this video, we'll tell you everything you need to know if you want to work remotely in Montana. Hi, I'm Will Friedner with the Montana Life Realty Team. Please do us a favor and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos, and don't forget to hit the little bell if you want to be notified every time we put out a new video about Montana. So with all that's been happening in the world lately, we've been getting all kinds of calls from people asking about living in Montana and if they would be able to work remotely here. So in this video, we want to go over all the things you need to know if that is the case for you. Obviously, if your employer will allow you to live wherever you want, this is a great place to be. We have tons of outdoor activities here in Montana. We have hiking, biking, golfing, rafting, skiing, and the list goes on and on. I can't think of a better place to live if you like the outdoors. There are some people though that if you want big cities, traffic, and crowds, then Montana may not be the place for you. But if you want to work in beautiful surroundings, Montana's probably the best place in the country. So the first thing you need to know about Montana is that the entire state is in the mountain time zone. That means that we are two hours behind the East Coast and one hour ahead of the West Coast. So if you were working for a company based in New York, it may make for an early morning here in Montana to start, but you'll have more time at the end of the day to enjoy everything we have to offer here. I live up in the northwest corner of Montana, and because of our proximity to the western time zone, it stays light very late in the summer here. In fact, in June, it's still light out until almost 11 o'clock at night. So if you're working for a company on the east coast and you finish your work at 3 o'clock in the afternoon our time, there's still almost eight hours of daylight left for you to enjoy. You can get in 18 holes of golf with no problem if that's what you like to do. So the next very important thing we should talk about is the internet service here in Montana. Most of the state is serviced by a company called Spectrum. If you live in a town, you should be able to get pretty fast internet starting at about $50 a month through Spectrum. Here's a list of towns in Montana that Spectrum covers. If you're looking to move to a town that is not on this list, just get on Google and check out what company covers that particular town, and all towns have internet, it's just a matter of who provides it. We live in Whitefish and we use Spectrum, and I did a wireless speed test the other night with my phone, and here's what came up. Just so you know, we do have a teenage daughter who is on her phone or iPad constantly, streaming movies or on social media. And even with that, we've had good speeds for what we need. During the coronavirus quarantine, we were working at home and did quite a bit on quite a bit of Zoom meetings and again had no trouble with our internet service. As far as fiber optic service goes, at this point, only businesses here in downtown can access that type of service. I'm not aware of any residential fiber optic service at this point around Montana, but Montana is huge and that may change in some areas soon. Right now, we don't have it here, but like I said, it, it, could, it could be coming in. If you have a certain place in mind that you're thinking about moving to, we would be happy to provide you with any of the available internet services and the speeds that are available for where you are. If you're thinking about living out of town a little ways, there are also options for that that we can tell you all about. Another option that you could look into is these co-working spaces are popping up all over the state. We have one here in Whitefish, and I've checked on the internet and there's other co-working spots in the bigger towns around the state of Montana. The office in Whitefish has internet speeds of 100 megabits download and upload. And here are the prices if you want to rent a space in Whitefish. It's about $25 a day for access to the open area and desks of the office. And if you want a dedicated desk, it's about $325 a month. And if you want a private office, it's $600 a month. But if you look at the bottom here, you can bring your dog if they approve your dog. So that's kind of a bonus as well. I researched other co-working offices around the state 
and there are some available. In Bozeman, I did find one that is out of space at the moment, so be sure to check the availability in the city that you are looking to move to. So some people like to set up shop at a local coffee shop. So like I said, we live in Whitefish and we have three coffee shops downtown. So I went down and checked the internet speed at each place and here are the results. I was kind of surprised at the differences. Um, it was very interesting. So the first place I went to was Montana Coffee Traders. And as you can see, they had a download speed of 65 and an upload speed of 4.3. The next place we went to was Wild Coffee, which is a fairly new shop uh, further down Central Avenue. And they had a download speed of 36.6 and an upload speed of 21, which is very good for upload. And the last place we went to was the newest coffee shop. It's called Folklore Coffee. It's right on Baker Avenue, and I'm not sure if that's why they're using fiber optics or something, but their download speed kind of pegged out my little meter, and it was 297 for download and 21.2 for upload. So they are by far the big winner in our town. And again, every town and every coffee shop is different, but these speeds show you that it is very possible to get some work done at these coffee shops. Another great thing about Montana is our airports. If you need to travel back to your company headquarters, it won't be hard to do from anywhere in Montana. We have bigger airports around the state and we also have a lot of smaller regional airports that cover the outlying areas of the state. Let's take a look at some of the larger airports and I'll show you where you can fly out of non-stop from Montana. We'll start in Billings. As you can see in the Billings Airport, they are serviced by American, Alaska, Delta, and Allegiant, and a smaller regional airline called Cape Air. And looking at the map here, you see that they, they cover all the smaller towns on the east side of Montana, like Haver, Wolf Point, Sydney. And they also go to larger cities around the country, Seattle, Portland, Vegas, LA, Phoenix, Dallas, Denver, Minneapolis and Chicago. So that airport pretty much takes care of anywhere you need to go and if you need to go overseas any of those big hub airports that I just talked about will get you there as well. So let's look at the next airport which is in Bozeman and if you look at this map Bozeman covers a lot of big cities on the East Coast non-stop as well as Minneapolis, Chicago, Atlanta, Nashville, Dallas, Houston, Vegas, LA, San Francisco, Seattle. They, they'll get you anywhere you need to go. So Bozeman is, Bozeman is a great airport and it's pretty central in Montana so you can get wherever you need to go out of Bozeman. And if you go up to the airport near us, Glacier Park International, we have year-round flights to Salt Lake, Minneapolis, uh, Denver, Seattle, and Vegas, and then seasonal flights to Atlanta, LA, Chicago, Portland, and Oakland. So we've we've used our airport quite a bit, and it's a it's a nice little airport. They're going to expand it next year, and uh, they just keep growing. And again, good airport, and easy to get in and out of. And now we'll look at Great Falls. They do a summer flight to Chicago. Uh, they do year-round flights to Denver, Vegas, Minneapolis, Seattle, Salt Lake, and Phoenix. And the last airport is in Missoula. And as you can see there, they do basically the same, same airports that Kalispell does. Um, so they, they'll get you anywhere you need to go as well. Another mode of transportation that I haven't talked about yet is the Amtrak. If you live along the northern tier of Montana, the Amtrak runs along what's known as the High Line, and it comes right through Whitefish and goes across the northern part of Montana. You can go west to Seattle on the Amtrak, or you can head east to all the way to Chicago. We've taken the Amtrak from Whitefish to Minneapolis. It's about a 24-hour ride. Again, if you're not in a big hurry, it's kind of fun and, and we enjoy taking it back and we've done it a couple times 
and it gives you a good view of Montana and you go right through Glacier Park or the bottom of Glacier Park. So it's pretty cool to take the Amtrak and that's another option here in Montana. So there you go. It is very possible to live and work remotely in Montana. We have everything you need to do it and we can make that happen for you. And please don't hesitate to call and do me a favor. Put it the, in the comments section which city you're thinking about coming from, which city you're sick of living in, and we'd love to see where you guys are watching. And we would be happy to help you with any questions you may have. My wife and I work together. She's coming up here in a second to end this video. And she used to be a flight attendant, so she can answer any questions about the airports and anything about Montana. She's lived all over the state and she's gone to school at both of the universities in the state so she is the expert i've lived here for 20 years now so i can help you as well so don't hesitate to call our number is right here on the screen and we hope to see you on our next video don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time thank you for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so next time a video comes out you will be notified our information is on the screen, so please contact us at any time, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.